الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا سراط المستقيم سراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير مكذوب عليهم ولا دارين آمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أويكم بتاية الإسلام ملا عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I want to especially welcome our guest, especially our guest from uh, uh, other part of the world. I want to welcome uh, uh, Professor Ali Saad from United Arab Emirates. And I want to, I want to welcome also especially uh, Ms. Faiza uh, from uh, Saudi Arabia. And also I want to welcome especially uh, Ali Aji Fatai Areye, from the United Kingdom. And I want to welcome specially uh, Barista Abu Latif uh, Adeyemo from Uganda. And uh, I want to uh, also welcome specially and also our host that is hosting us here today. It is, it is because of him, what we have learned from him that we have been able to organize this very highly rich in scholastic and also uh, literary, uh, literary uh, publishing event today. That is a Professor Labode Mokola. I want to welcome also especially our participants that are joining. I can see here uh, Latifat Adebisi. I can see here Abrahim Olarewaju and uh, others that will be joining. Uh, in our opening, uh, format is, I want to uh, give us a kind of a, uh, the high profile uh, personalities that we have put together here to have the understanding of uh, uh, what we are actually here to, to achieve. One, uh, we have actually uh, see the blessing from the inspiration of Almighty Allah to have published this very book that we call Mastering uh, Islamic values. It is a book that was created or synthesized out of inspiration. The second thing is that uh, we are blessed with the reach of scholars and elders that has impacted the knowledge on us and also the people that we are learning from around the world. Uh, the, the third thing that I would like to also emphasize is the chairman. I hope he is going to join us very soon. We are actually honoring him to be the chair of this very uh, important occasion because he is a, a boss in the university where I teach and uh, he happened to be a boss to my mentor, Professor Labode Popola as well, in the university where I teach. And uh, he has done a lot of wonderful things for the university and humanity as a whole. And because he, he reflected the values that we are actually portraying in this very book, that is the reason why we have made him the chairman. I would have loved to read out why this very iconic legal, legal practitioner is so iconic, uh, is so important to us. But because of the absence, maybe when he comes around, when we want to speak, we are going to uh, do that. And let me just permit our host, Professor, Professor Laba de Kukolasa. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Well, uh, it's a pleasure for me to have the privilege of speaking at this time. I thought I was going to make a closing remark, but since uh, the uh, author of this very monumental document has asked me to make a comment. I will just say one or two things. Uh, when he asked me to help him bring the carton uh, containing some materials from Amazon to be delivered in my hotel in New Jersey, 
I didn't know the content. I didn't know at all. I just uh, faithfully collected it and I brought it to Nigeria. Then of course, when he came to receive it, he opened it by himself and he said, he told me that he would like me to pray for him. Now, when I opened the document, I was amazed. The quality of work, the content, and of course, the, the magnitude of what we have in need to do it. He said he did it during the Ramadan period. Wow. I mean, I, I was quite excited and I thank the Almighty Allah for the wisdom he has given to Saeed Okoyemiya at BBC. Uh, he's a young man that is just starting out, but he is just wonderful. So I'll continue to wish him well. Welcome all of you. And we have Aslan Ali Kuramatullah Barakatu. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahi wa rahmani wa rahim. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. A review of the book Mastering Islamic Values. Book of Character References from the Holy Quran, Holy Prophets, and Noble Stories. Islam is a religion that holds in high esteem the values of morality, ethics, and spirituality. These values are deeply rooted in the Holy Quran, the teaching of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the history of Islam. Mastering Islamic Values book of reference from the Holy Quran and the Prophet and Notable Story is a comprehensive guide to understanding the values of Islam that we must strive to uphold in our daily lives. It is a book that delves into the depth of Islamic teachings, revealing invaluable insights into how we can cultivate these values. The book has a 700, it, it, uh, the book has a total of 770 pages. It contains 60 chapters each exploring a unique dimension of Islamic values with 401 examples gleaned from a range of sources, including the Quran, Hadith, and the lives of the prominent Muslim throughout history to drive home its point. The stories numbering 271 in total are woven throughout the text adding color and nuance to the themes explored the book has another tool a study guide that provides practical advice and actionable steps to help readers turn their knowledge into action and make positive changes in their personal and professional lives. This offers the readers a clear roadmap for mastering Islamic values, which is highly relevant for Islamic leaders, educators, mentors, guardians, and learners.
The book is relevant to the modern time as it aims to promote a deeper understanding and application of Islamic values in contemporary society. It highlights the need for Muslims to adhere to traditional Islamic principles while adapting to the challenges and changes of the modern world. The title aims to achieve a strong connection between Muslims and their faith by providing a guide for individuals to overcome difficulties and lead their lives based on Islamic values. Additionally, the book aims to promote a positive image of Islam to non-Muslims and promote better understanding of the religion. Dr. Adebisi's work is innovative, thoughtful, and straight to the point. The language is simple and carefully chosen to convey the message of its author without ambiguity. It displays the glaring erudition and clarity of purpose of the writer who ventures into the technique of authentic storytelling to expose the beauty of Islam and the exemplary nature of the message of its prophet, Muhammad, May the peace and blessing of Allah be with him, with his creative mind. I recommend the book for general reading, most especially for new converts and people who are curious to know about the religion of Islam from a reliable source. The book has served as a handbook for students of Islam, secondary schools, public and school library. In the book, our author enumerates and exhaustively, exhaustively define the virtues prescribed, required or even admonished for Muslims by the Islamic scripture as a universal religion. It also exhibits how the prophet of Islam including the Messenger of Allah, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, his companions and notable Muslim predecessors after them, exemplified those virtues. The book, in my opinion, is a compendium of Islamic values. To be more useful for serious academic research, future publication of the book should be furnished with verifiable references and properly published from the academic viewpoint. The book ends with a very rich and comprehensive bibliography that indicates the enormous research carried out, bringing it out in the present shape by Dr. Saeed Adebisi. Coming from a young, vibrant scholar, it is indeed a commendable academic endeavor. Professor Isa Adebelo, acting head of Common and Islamic Law, College of Law, Ocean State University. I bear witness that there's only one God, Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger and the last messenger of Allah. I'm so privileged and honored to be here this morning and to be presenting this book, which was authored by my dear brother, 
Dr. Saeed Okweyemi at the ABC. Um, he's been doing a wonderful job. He's, he's, he's actually started his career on a very glorious path. As uh, our dear prof has actually said, it's a, it's a very promising talent. And when, when he told me about this book, I had to order from Amazon. And when they arrived, I just saw that very big, big book. And uh, I said, wow, OK. So I went through the book. And um, amazingly, it is very, very easy to read. It is, the, the, the language is very easy. Anybody can read and understand. And what actually amazes me most is how the book was organized. There are, in the book, there are 770 pages in the book. Uh, which is uh, in 60 chapters. And we have stories in the book as well. I would recommend the book for every Muslim household because every theme, every chapter of the book has got what we Muslims actually cherish, what we actually hold fast the verses of the Quran, the hadiths of our holy prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and relevant stories is embed, embedded in every chapter of the book. Not only a story, each chapter actually has got about five to six stories related to each chapter of the book. It's amazing. It's just like an encyclopedia to me because it's, it covers every aspect of our life as a Muslim. The ethics, the values that we actually cherish, the way you want to live your life, the stories of the Sahaba, the stories of the, the prophets as related to each chapter of the, uh, 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 of the book. It is amazing. So it is my singular honor and privilege to be presenting this book, which is titled Mastering Islamic Values, Book of Character References from the Holy Quran, Holy Prophets, and the Noble Stories. And nobody is an encyclopedia of knowledge. When I went through the book, there are some aspects that they are just new to me. They, oh. I've never seen this. I've never heard about this. Expensive is something that we can actually afford to get. So it is a very good masterpiece of Dr. Adebisi to have just compiled. And as Professor Labo said, I don't know how he does it. It's just amazing. And the outline, the organization, the everything, we just love it. So um, it's my honor to present this book this morning to the populace, to every Muslim household. I'm presenting this book authored by Dr. Saeed Adebisi so that everybody should get a copy. Take uh, the perspective of the ladies uh, according to the team uh, from uh, uh, Ms. Faiza from Saudi Arabia. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, thank you so much for participating me here in this event of this amazing book. Jazakallah khairan kasir. 
and about this book and the Islamic values, the important thing is like that Islamic uh, in our religion, Islam, it has placed much reviewed and much importance to the women. So it always in Islam, in the religion of Islam, it is it always gives the high regards to the women in every part of their life. For example, they have the right to nominate themselves in the property as well as they have the right to uh, earn by theirself and manage their own finances. On the other hand, Islamic women, the Muslim women, has the right to choose his husband, has the right to like agree or disagree on the basis of his marriage decision. On the other hand, Islamic women is more empowered to learn to educate her, herself in every walk of the life, whatever she wants to learn, whatever type of the skills she wants to learn, and whatever type of the business or job she wants to do, she has all the right and all the power to do that. On the other hand, she has the responsibility to take care of her family as well and she is the one who is the like the main pillar to combine his family to brought up his uh, brought up all his cares in the family islam gave much privilege much reviewed much honored as a woman as a mother as a daughter as well as a sister as a wife also so from all this we can learn that islam gives much value in every part of our life uh, as well as if we look towards the wives of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they are the true picture of faithfulness, honesty, courage, care, dignity, modesty. If we talk about the Hazrat Khadija Razila Ta'ala, so she is the first believer of the Islam. She embraced the Islam first time with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And she is the first lady, first business entrepreneur. She has amazing, amazing business skills. She, at, the, at that time, when there is a, a dominancy of the male society, she worked with the male. She hired the male to trade with them, and she equally privileged them with their profit, with the share of the profit. She worked with uh, male uh, like um, employees, and she traveled alone with the males. So all these shows that Islam is a modern religion. On the other hand, if we, above all, on the other hand, if we look about the Hazrat um, Aisha Razila Ta'ala, so she is the one who is the most responsible for the narration of the ahadis. And she compiles much ahadis uh, in the life of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and after his life. So we have uh, much examples of many, many business women, business leaders in the history of the Islam. And in this COVID days, the online business is, you know, very much all over the world. This is very much beneficial for a Muslim woman to work from the home, to manage all his home chores along with whatever the work she wants to do and whatever the job she wants to do. Like from the, as an entrepreneur, as a job, as a content writer, as a web developer, as a, any type of the virtual assistant or service industry. She can do anything from her home now. So I think all these are the blessings of the Islam. All these are our values that we can work anything or any part of the world now on, on the remote basis. But we have to take care of our own values. We have to present ourselves in a more modestic way. We have to work in the boundaries of Islam which is like the truthfulness, faithfulness, honesty, courage, as well as the care of our family. Because at, above all, we are the responsible for the upbringing of our kids, for the upbringing of the next generation. The responsibilities lies in the hand of a woman. So we have to take care, and this is the main honor of Islamic women. Because as a mother, we are honored to have a Jannah in our feet, feet lies under the, our feet. As a daughter, we are the responsible. We are honored to enter our father into the Jannah, to open the door of Jannah for him. As a wife, we are honored and privileged to complete the deen of our husband. So all these things are the greatest honor, are the greatest values of our Islamic uh, lady, I think.
actually I have perused the book. In fact, the book contains about 770 pages, and then all pages are very, very interesting, and then each page discuss about the value of Islam. It is also contains chapters. In all the chapters, the chapters are arranged in ascending way from A, B, C up to the Z. There in the first chapter talk about accountability. Here, the chapters contain a lot of uh, Islamic value. Here also, we can also ask ourselves, is it the way we were brought up by our father, mother, and the society during the time when we were young? Is it the way we are bringing our children up now? If the answer is yes, this book can assist your children to have more value of Islam as well as so that they themselves, they will be able to get the knowledge they derive from you. But if the answer is no, this book is very nice for them so that they can start about the culture of Islam, the one established in the Holy Quran as the one in which the Sunnah of history of, yes, in the history of Islam, why Imam Mualik Bono Anas, when he compiled some hadith of a Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Medina, you know Imam Malik Ibn uh, Hanas was born, brought up in Medina. When he was able to compile the hadith and have his book, Muata Imam Malik, the book was popular because of the arrangement of that book. Muata Imam Malik, he arranged it that uh, if he talk about inheritance, all the hadiths in which he compiled related to inheritance, he put it under it. If he's talking about, uh, if the book is talking about uh, Salat, all those uh, are this relevant. During that time, people of Medina, they have some way of crediting him. They normally say that about the Quran, Mu'atta Imam Malik. It is mean that after the Quran, then the next book to be reckoned with has to be Mu'atta Imam Malik. However, this book also, it is also relevant in our society today because the society has been rust. We don't know the future of our children, the future of young men. This book is rich in the eradication of all those rubbish. And then they themselves, they can be able to see the value of Islam. The book also talk about the fundamental human right relating to United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. You know, they are after the humanity. This book is also is talking about that eradication of the poverty. When you are talking about a Muslim Brotherhood, environmental, all those things, you can be able to get it here because when we are talking about uh, justice, equity, equity and justice, they are behind how to get a reasonable society, the leader, the duties of a leader on the subject, the, sub, the, the duties of a subject also to the leader or to the general public. Dear in this book is a reach for all those things. Even when we are talking about a, a Islamic ideology, the ideology of a Sharia is more comprehensive here. And then your relationship, even the duty for the parents to the children, likewise the duty of the children to, to, to the society. So very powerful one, and very revealing, and very inspiring. Uh,
I, I would like to recognize and also appreciate the presence of our dear professor, uh, Dr. Ali Sahad from United Arab Emirates. Uh, he has been the icon of Islamic values. Alhamdulillah, uh, Fatah, Alhamdulillah. It is uh, an honor and privilege to stand before you today as a, a speaker at this remarkable event, uh, the book release on, on mastering Islamic values. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Said uh, for ex extending this invitation to me and to all of you for gracing this occasion with your uh, presence. Uh, the theme of today's event, uh, reviving Islamic values, insights, references, and narratives for modern, uh, modern times uh, resonates uh, deeply with the killings we face in our contem uh, contemporary world as we uh, navigate an era of rabbit king and constant upheaval, uh, it, became, it becomes increasingly uh, colloquially to ground ourselves in, 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 the, in the timeless principles of our uh, faith, uh, Islam. By, by, by delving into the uh, depth of our tradition, we can find a solution uh, to the moral and spiritual uh, dilemmas we, uh, we encounter uh, in our daily lives. Uh, through the, teach, uh, the teaching of the Quran and the example of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we gain insight that are, the, uh, are as relevant today as they were uh, uh, centuries ago. This event is not merely about intellectual exploration. It is a call to action. We are here to in, uh, ignite a transformation to British the gap between theory and practice. We strive to uh, promote sustainable uh, living and share prospect, prosperity roots uh, in the principles of our faith. As we impress the values of, com of compassion, justice, honesty, and humility, we contribute to a harmonious uh, so society that benefits all its members. Before I conclude, I would like to draw your attention to the remarkable resources made available uh, to us through the release of the book, Mastering Islamic Values, and it is uh, a combining a study guide. These valuable works offered uh, deep insight into the Islamic tradition and serve as a practice a practical tools to apply it is teaching to our lives i encourage uh, each one of you to explore these resources and utilize them as a means to deepen uh, your connection with islam and enhance your personal growth in, in, including I extend my heartful uh, appreciation to all of you uh, for your uh, presence here today. Your uh, participation as uh, significant, uh, a, com a commitment to the values that form the uh, bedrock of our faith. Let us seize this opportunity to not only enrich our own lives, lives but also to inspire uh, others through our actions may allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala bless this event guide our uh, deliberations and enable us to be true ambassadors uh, of islamic values in our respective uh, spheres of uh, influence shukran jazakumullah khairan
So I would like to thank you for adding me to this uh, meeting. So I'm happy to be here among the professors and doctors. So, so this, this means a lot to me. So thank you, Dazakumullah Khairan. So I would have to I would like to go straight to what you asked me to do. So Inshallah. to sing part of the track you just play right now. Uh, I had to lie, I'm alone. So I did the track when I was going to to Arch then, uh, I think uh, 2022. So I named the track the Goal Achievements to thank Allah that uh, uh, he make my dream to come true. So that is why I named the track. Track the goal achievement. So I have to lie, I'm alone. A'udhu billahi min ash shaitan rajeem Bismillahi rahman rahim Kayfa atin inka ilahi Dafa nai wala ato La ramanda Yusawi fifu adim etanai I have to lie, I'm alone I have to to lie, mo gbagbo ninu olohun okan ni kolorogun ko lo ba kan kan mo jeri wi pana bi muhammad eru e po jise lo je ka kirun dede la siko e ka yo zaka ninu duki e ni ka gba we sise ajiko pe o ka ba di muslimi ododo ala ala Bunna, <laughs> Zabura tu lo shiketa o mumbo wa fun eni kerin ala ala robuna ala ala hasbuna ala ala robuna ala ala hasbuna ikarin ninu mefa tantu mo gbagba ninu kadarawa ikarin ninu tiratawi ni kuya ni fa no bi mo mama asaju akan ide gbegbon wa mo gbagbo ninu kadara wa ikarun salo ajo idajo mo gbagbo ninu kadara wa musulumi gbo mefa yi lo fi jo ni gbagbo ododo ala ala wabuna ala ala hasbuna assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh all the glory and adoration yeah. we want to thank you for your life for the life of the author for putting it in his mind to put up this book and for granting him is all the way we all to be able to write the book and accomplish his aim we cannot thank Allah enough I want to appreciate all those people who have been on line joining and contributing to this program. God will definitely bless you abundantly. I will recommend the book, though I have not read, but I just saw the book. But for my forgot to recommend the book, I want to give it to you. So I want to charge everybody to ensure that this book gets the coverage that it 
effect, and at the end of the day, the author will make profit for it, and the word of Allah will continually be shared. Yeah. Thank you for bringing me on board, and I pray and God bless us all. Inshallah.